Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the effects of poverty on the United States. My name is Mary Matisson, and the purpose of my speech is to inform you on the negative effects of poverty on the economy of a country. For many years, poverty has been a very relevant issue in our world, and the lasting effects have been detrimental to the economy in America. Most of us are fortunate enough to go home to a warm bed, eat a warm meal, and have a warm shower at night. While there are others out there who have to sleep on the street and wonder where their next meal is going to come from. The U.S. Department of Agriculture states that 37 million people lived under the poverty line in 2020 which puts the poverty rate at 11.4%. Although this doesn't seem like a large number, that means that over one out of 10 people lived under the poverty line. First, I'm gonna give you statistics about poverty, how it affects the economy of a country, and how we can get involved in help. Although America is considered a first world country, the history of our country has had to cope with the lasting effects of poverty. This dates all the way back to 1955, when Molly Orshansky studied poverty through a food consumption survey given by the Department of Agriculture. This was studied by the Department of Health and Human Services. In 2015, more than 736 million people lived in poverty. This was throughout the entire world. These numbers show the relevancy in the United States and how poverty can affect the economy. Rob Grunewald a direct, shows that a direct correlation between there's a direct correlation between poverty and unemployment in our country. When poverty rises, opportunities for employment and income also rise. Not only does poverty affect the economy in our country, but it also affects mental health. Not knowing where you're going to sleep or where you're going to get your next meal is very important to people. Families and malnutrition are also affected because children need food and a good education to develop their growing minds and bodies. Although poverty damages the economy, mental health, and nutritional value in families, there are ways we can all help. One way is through charity. We don't have to donate millions of dollars to make a difference. Donating to your, and helping out with your local soup kitchen and your church also helps too. Volunteer work is also very important. A lot of places that are helped by volunteer work rely on donations and volunteer workers to help solve poverty. Examples of ways you can help are through the Knights of Columbus, the Shriners, and the Spencer JCs. For many years, poverty has been a very relevant issue in our country. I first gave you statistics about poverty in America, and then I talked about the effects of poverty and how we can help it. Next time you go home to your warm bed and your warm shower, think about those who aren't as fortunate and how you can help them. I encourage you all to go out and help, whether it be through your local charity or just helping those in need.